I landed there here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I had to get to this bridge oh, yeah. here. Oh, yeah. For three days every week, 93-year-old Thomas Blakey sits at this table and takes tourists back in time. Blakey was part of the Allied invasion on the beaches of Normandy, a member of the Airborne Division, parachuting behind enemy German lines on D-Day. Seventy years later, that airplane ride is still fresh in his mind. And everybody was very quiet. Some of the fellas were doing with their beads. Some fellas were faking sleep. No conversation, no jocularity, nothing. We got a break in the weather, and we could see the boats going toward France. Tons of boats, hundreds of them. And there was some of the guys said, how can we lose with this? As they got closer to shore, bullets started hitting their plane. Got to the coast of Normandy, and then it really got hot. We we're hooked up, we we're ready to go. 18 men are going out that door in 11 seconds. Blakey landed in a cemetery. He made his way to his target. We were to take a bridge, Le Fleur Bridge, take it before daylight and hold it until relieved. Well, the bridge was there. We had to clean out some of the Germans around it. They were coming down the road, and they were coming down right into our rifle barrel. We killed a lot of Germans. The battle for that bridge was dramatized in one of the final scenes of Saving Private Ryan. We fought over that bridge for four days. Blakey killed the first German soldier across the bridge. He called him the little man. I fired at him, and I saw the bullet the time it hit. And he jumped in the air and raised his arms above his head, dropped his rifle, and fell backwards. For decades, that image haunted him. I didn't get a scratch. Unbelievable. But I had a lot of opportunities. But all that changed, Blakey said, when he walked through the doors of the National World War II Museum. I haven't seen the little man since I've been to the museum. Blakey's heading back to the bridge and to Normandy to mark 70 years since he and 150,000 troops took that beach and turned the tide of the war. We wanted to go home. We wanted to do our duty. We wanted to create a good world, and that's what we were trying to do. When Blakey comes home from this trip to Normandy, he'll return to his new post, the one he's manned for 14 years where he'll be keeping the memory of his friends and their sacrifices going strong.